Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this cup, I think I'm pretty sure I showed you guys um, the smoke effect tumbler. I ended up not doing any epoxy last night. I'm not gonna do it every night. Um, but yeah, I got that one done. So that one's gonna end up getting the decal and then epoxy tonight. Um, I'm probably gonna go and get the decal cut here shortly. And then this one, I need to put a couple more coats of the glow in the dark. Um, I took it into Ella's room and, it, you know, her room's pretty dark. Um, and it's not a solid glow. Um, I'll take you guys in and show you. But we are currently working on the screen door. Um, you guys can see. Um, but it's obviously not finished. Tim had to go to work before it was able to be finished. So we're just gonna keep that shut so that, you know, bugs and stuff aren't getting in here. But... This is the glow in the dark cup. I'm gonna take you guys into Ella's room and show you what the cup looks like um, as it you know glows. Um, but her room can get pretty dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys here. Um, okay, so you guys can obviously tell it's dark. Here's the cup. Oh man, but see how it's like lighter over here. Um, I'm honestly, I don't know if that's because of how it was, um, sitting, like, in the kitchen, or if, in general, it just needs more. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray, like, another two coats on it or something. But what's nice about the epoxy instead of, like, the crystal act um, because some people, a lot of people use Crystalac for the tumblers. Um, the nice thing is I don't have to wait for the spray paint to gas off. If you use Crystalac, you have to let the spray paint gas off for like 24 or 48 hours or something like that. It's a little ridiculous. So, um, yeah. But yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um, so Tim 3D printed this last night or this morning. Um, I think he turned out so cute. Um, it's Fred the Frog. He's got little guns on him. Um, he's working on a sombrero one. Um, I'll take you guys in and show you guys. But there's like a wizard one and there's a bunch of cool ones. Um, I don't know if he printed all of them. Um, I'm pretty sure he printed it last night. But there's like a wizard one. There's a strawberry one. I'll show you guys when we get in the bedroom after I get something to eat because I swear I am always starving anymore. Um, and then I'm going to end up editing while I'm in there. I haven't edited for like three days at this point um, because I've, you know, I haven't edited since, oh God. Uh, well, no, I edited Monday. I believe um but then the last time before that was friday so um i need to edit i need to find some food i am so hungry <laughs> um but yeah i will catch you guys up in a little bit after i'm done editing and everything <laughs> all right guys so it's like eight o'clock now um it's been a while uh I was working on my tumblers for a few minutes, getting decals and stuff cut and put on them. And then I got extremely nauseous while I was doing dishes. I had to come in here and I snuggled with Ella um, for a little bit, trying to make myself feel a little bit better. Still don't feel that great, but you know, I gotta get on with the rest of the day. Um, but I wanted to show you guys all of the little frogs. So I showed you guys the one with the little, um, gun on his back. But then there's this guy, which he's got a couple of spots that need, you know, fixed. But he's not too bad. Um, he's a little frog cowboy. Um, there's this one which, you know, Tim has to clean up the base and stuff, but he's just, 
He's just a frog, but he's got the key hook here to make into a keychain. Um, and then he's got four of the normal frogs. Um, if you guys are into 3D printing, his name is Fred the Frog. Um, on files and stuff like that on different websites, but um, he made these ones into valve stem covers. So you've got the frog, <clears throat> but he's got the hole. I need to get the support out. Um, I just can't get it out right now. Usually I'm pretty good about getting the supports out, but I can't get this one out. The supports are there to help obviously keep your 3D print from going in too far, but that's what it's supposed to look like. So it's just a hole on the base and it's got threads on the inside. Um, so there's four of those for the tires. Here's the little strawberry guy, which I think he turned out so cute. So he's just got a little strawberry on his head. Um, and then the last one here is the little wizard. Maybe. There he goes. So he's just got a little wizard hat on him. So, like I said, Tim needs to get those all cleaned up later. Um, and then there's also a duck in here that he made because he made a couple of, he made quite a few different um, 3D printed the valve stem covers. Um, but the one duck, he, it somehow got messed up so he had to reprint that. So, um, but I need to go finish up the dishes. I just have like a bowl, two spoons, stuff like that to wash. Just stuff that was left in here. Um, I need to finish those up. I need to get Ella her dinner. Um, I need to put away, so pretty much, you know, the kitchen table's good. There's nothing there. Tim's got a couple of packages. Um, to do but then a lot of this I can't really do anything with because Tim has filament in these boxes um, and he's gonna want to open those this here all of this you know these um, this entire box and then all of this here are for the screen door that we're currently installing and obviously like I said Tim didn't get to do everything before he left to go to work. Um, so it's just kind of sitting there. Um, this is all stuff that he bought that he's going to want to go through. Cameras and stuff like that. Um, but I do need to get this here put away. It's just bowls and stuff that we took over to my father-in-law's house um, for Father's Day. And, um, you know, it had one had pasta salad. One had the macaroni and the plate had the hamburgers on it, but he went ahead and washed them and everything. So Tim brought them home last night, so I gotta get those put away. And then I have all of those over there. Those dishes are all clean. They just need put away as well. So um, slowly getting stuff done. Um, my belly just does not feel good and I don't know if it's something I ate, something I didn't eat, um, or, you know, something I smelled or what, but I'm currently four weeks and five days, um, and I feel like I'm going to die already. Um, I'm still waiting to hear back from my doctor. I never heard about having to go in for blood today, um, to, you know, get more blood results or whatever. Um, but I do need to put my spray paint and stuff away. Um, just gotta get things, you know, cleaned up and decent for when Tim comes home. So, um, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and end this here. I know it's not gonna be very long. Um, but Ella's over here being a weirdo. 
Do you want some Cheerios? No. What do you want for dinner? You're not having a popsicle. I want ice cream. You can't have ice cream for dinner. You've already had two today. I got her the like Italian ice freeze pops and she's been wanting them all day, but you're not having ice cream or popsicles for dinner, honey. I'm sorry. She's like pushing me because she wants me to go get her a popsicle. You can't have a popsicle. You gotta eat your dinner first, honey. I know, life sucks, huh? If you eat all your mac and cheese, you can have one after. You want some mac and cheese for dinner? What do you want for dinner, honey? Cheerios. You want Cheerios? Okay, can you go sit at the kitchen table for me? She'll actually go over, pull out the chair. Usually she'll pull out the first chair there, but... Alright, I'm gonna go ahead get her some Cheerios and then get her eating. God, I'm feeling nauseous again. But I'm gonna go and get her eating um, and then clean up out here. And then I gotta figure out what I'm making for dinner. I pulled chicken out, but I don't exactly know what kind of chicken I'm gonna make. Um, I think I might make the shredded chicken tortillas um, with the like green tortilla shells because they were pretty good. Hey, you're not gonna color right now, honey. You need to eat um, with the Bomb AF sauce. Um, is what we call it. It's just mayo, taco seasoning, and you can add taco sauce, um, but I don't add the taco sauce into it, so it's literally just mayo and taco seasoning. Um, and it's so good. It makes the entire thing so good. Um, so I think I'm going to make that for dinner because I know Tim's going to like that and I think I'm going to like it too. Hopefully, I really hope this pregnancy doesn't turn out like Ella's and if you guys know, when I was pregnant with her, I ate no meat. I didn't eat chicken, steak, pork, nothing. Um, not even like ground hamburger. I just... Every time I was cooking it for dinner, I just felt so nauseous. Um, it would make me heave, make me gag, and want to throw up. Sometimes I would. Um, it was just a very unpleasant experience cooking dinners when I was pregnant with her. So nine times out of ten, Tim cooked it. Um, but I'm going to get over here, give her her Cheerios, and then I'm going to clean. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Good night.